Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to another No Cups, All Suffering uh, Grand Archive video. <laughs> and this time, like, for the second time, with Eddie here and the the Rye Master. How are you doing, man? <laughs> I'm good, man. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> yeah, no, no worries. Thank you for 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 taking the time because I know that uh, there's a busy schedule. A lot of things are happening here and there, and people are prepping for the yeah. next competitive events. There's a regional coming up this weekend, and the next mm -hmm. the, the next weekend. So people are, are brewing, people are keeping their spies, but I mean, going back to what happened a couple of weeks ago at, um, at the Ascent Ontario for Grand Archive, you were the highest placing rye in the whole event. I mean, that's that's insane, but also a, a bit sad because if I'm not mistaken, you were the only rye in top 32, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it was I was happy to bring Rai over because I always get encouraged when I see other Rai players. Yeah, yeah, uh, of course. I mean, you you won uh, regionals with Rai, you won a state championship with Rai, and I was uh, I was a hundred percent sure you'll be representing Rai again. I tried to do the same thing. Well, uh, like even before the tournament, we we're sharing some like some ideas, some thoughts about the competition, about the card choices, and everything, but. Was the mm -hmm. um, was the meta, you know, like the field, uh, as you expected it to be during the event, or, or what were your thoughts? Like, did, because I know that, I mean, Rai was in a really bad position. Rai didn't get much, but you still stuck with Rai. So, 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 why did you do it? I mean, what made you feel confident about Rai? Um, okay, so I've been practicing with Fire Tonoris mm -hmm. for about two weeks since the set came out. And I kind of put Rai to the side because I wanted to try something new, you know, something different. And uh, I really liked the build, and I thought it was pretty strong. Um, and I will win a lot of games. I will also lose a lot of games, but I didn't feel as much in control. And a lot of my friends just told me to go back to Rai. So I'm like, I was being hard-headed, you know, and I didn't want to go. And I, I go back to Rai, I kind of just wanted to use what I was using. And because I, I had more practice with Tonoris for those two weeks, I didn't really play Rai. It was, like, very rare for me to play Rai. Um, so... I woke up early in the morning uh, that Saturday <laughs> before I sent at 4:30, and I decided I'm like I'm gonna take Rye. My friend, I mean my friends were telling me to take Rye. I'm like maybe they're right, you know. Um, and I didn't do so hot in the Yeti, and my friend told me if you don't win and then the Yeti, you gotta take Rye. I'm like <laughs> okay, that's that's let, let's do this. I, I put it together quickly and. And uh, yeah, I took it. I'm, I'm, I felt very comfortable uh, playing with it. Um, I don't, I don't think it's like a tier zero deck. I, I definitely every deck has a weakness, which I like about Grand Archive. Um, but you know, people have to respect it. And um, I know I could, I know I could top. You know, and, and I, I do believe that. So I'm like, uh, I'm happy I did pretty good. And I didn't know what I was expecting at Ascent. Uh, I feel like it kind of gives me a uh, it gives me more knowledge to to know what to expect for the Yeti this weekend and also for the Nationals. So I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, still nervous, you know, because you don't know, you know, you don't know what to expect. Uh, I know for for Rye, a lot of the weaknesses is like you know Fire Lorraine Agro and and Fire Xander Agro. Um, but I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty confident that um, I could match up with those with those things, you know. Yeah, I mean uh, I agree with you that Rai. Uh, well, I had a similar story to you because I was testing a lot of like Arizona, testing a lot of Tonoris, mm -hmm. a lot of other decks that I was just brewing. But at the end of the day, I I, I just felt that Rai was still a good pick. But it all depends mm -hmm. on the I mean, it's the luck of the draw, the luck of the matchup, and I went in yeah. thinking. If I'm facing Merlin's, Diana's, Tonoris, I, I am in good shape. As long as I can dodge Xander for the most part. <laughs> and most of the mm -hmm. top decks were, uh, from the tournament were all Xander. Lux and Xander, Fire, Agro, Xander. Mm -hmm. So now it, it was a learning experience as well because I was thinking that Merlin will be the most uh, popular one. And I think it was, according to the numbers. But I didn't expect mm -hmm. Xander to be that strong. And now, like I mean, just as you mentioned, all this time that I played at the Yeti at Ascent Ontario, I can see where where other decks are going, and it helped me improve my right play. Mm -hmm. And I, I know the representation for Rai is very low, because there wasn't many tools that came out for Mage specifically, 
but there were a few like neutral cards that I'm using now that I think that they improve on the matchups a lot. But yeah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I also like like you mentioned. I think I saw a couple of your games running Tonoris, Fire Tonoris, and it was pretty strong. But like I think Fire Tonoris had a lot more weaknesses than Rai, I, at least like from mm -hmm. what I could perceive. Like there was a lot of water, a lot of like things that mitigate the damage or the attacks that the Norris, that the Norris is trying to do. And it's not as fast mm -hmm. as other decks that are going to be aggro as well. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that Rai still has potential, but do you think that um, now that uh, Jetty is coming and that uh, Nationals is coming also in two weeks, and plus on top of all of that, the ban of Crystal of Empowerment, I mean, if, mm -hmm. I, mean I don't know if that hurts the deck a lot, but there's a few cards that you can put in replacement, maybe not as good, but I think Crystal Band hurts more uh, Erupting in Merlin than it hurts Rai, to my opinion. I agree. I agree, because there's only so many things that you can bring out in your Regalia mm -hmm. to speed up your play and to get momentum. And Crystal was one of them, but you know we still have other things that we can use, and a lot of the Rai, it's either level or hand size. <clears throat> so you gotta kind of play with both things. If you don't have the level, you gotta play with the hand size. So, you know, it's it's. I think it's a little different. Yeah, and and to be honest, I think most of the matches I would always go like level one, level two, level three, and then a book or Grand Crusader ring, right? I mean, it wouldn't even give me time yeah. to bring out the crystal. So yeah, I mean, two levels may sometimes like put your head and win you the game, but. I, I, most times during the matches that I've had recently, I rather stabilize and keep on growing my hand with bringing Book of, uh, the Tome of Knowledge with the Tome of Sacred Lightning and start increasing my hand and my levels that way instead of going for level two, right? I think the hand size is really important in this set, at least for Rai. But uh, I know that in your list, you, I mean, you're still a uh, 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 true believer of increasing danger, right? <laughs> you, you, it, it has never left your list. And, and, and you still say that it's the, one of the strongest cards in your deck, right? I mean, according to what you mentioned before. Yeah, I really believe it is. Uh, I mean, whether you play against aggro or against something that is really good at late game, like Merlin or Xander, you just got to have enough cards to protect yourself or to just use it for more momentum. Um, like with Lorraine, you got to make sure you get those peaceful reunions, those resolute stands. Um, and then even like with Merlin, you just got to make sure you have, you could play those periods of mana pretty good, you know, and then get more stuff, uh, and make sure you have enough protection for the next turn. Uh, I mean, I, I like it. You, you got to rush and also like, especially with water, you know, water with frostbind is very scary. Mm -hmm. So when I'm playing against a water deck, I definitely want to see it. That way I have enough to pay for a frostbind. Um... Yeah, I, I, I love Increasing Danger. It's, it's a good card. <laughs> and, and just like you mentioned, right? I mean, uh, I think in this meta, uh, Rai cares way more about the hand size than they care about levels. So I'm always trying to leak hard, you know, with Increasing Danger, with Creative Shock, with A Serum of Wisdom. I love the new card of the set. Just to make sure that mm -hmm. I'm filtering for the right answers. And I don't care about my levels. Like, sometimes I go level 3 with 6 levels, or with 5 levels even. But as long as I can survive mm -hmm. one or two more turns, I will get eventually those levels, right? So, yeah, you know, yeah. like, you, yeah. you, usually it goes, like, level one, level two, level three, and then, uh, like, uh, the Tariff Ring or uh, Grand Crusader Ring on the Tome, and you just kind of uh, sneak your way in to stabilize and then to mm -hmm. get enough enough help, right? But, yeah. I mean, talking about the new set, is there any new cards that you uh, considered or you're going to uh, incorporate in your, in your deck well, from now on that you say, you know what? This actually like flows well with the deck, or this like makes it better than before. Um, aside from like vanish from sight, um, I think I'm I'm kind of like going backwards and forward in regards to my list. <laughs> like recently, I added uh, Scry the Skies again because oh. I didn't have it yeah, yeah, in yeah. there. Um, so I'm just trying to test everything out, and I I don't know if there's a lot like what you said. There wasn't a lot of support for Mage. I think there was just like one card. Um, but there was cards, generic cards, like Friends from Sight. I know you're using the, the um, what was it, the uh, Potion of Wisdom? Yeah, Serum of Wisdom. Yeah, I, I love that card. Serum of Wisdom. <laughs> In many decks. Yeah. 
Yeah, so uh, I mean, there's a few things we, we could try out, but I think right now um, I'm kind of liking the sweet spot where, where I'm at. And um, I have two Pyrrhon Tamanas and two Scries of Sky, which I normally don't have. Um, but it's definitely giving me a lot more momentum, or at least uh, better results like in the late game, because I like to rush things through. And I remember my list in, um, in the regionals and in the store championship, I didn't really have any like late game mm -hmm. momentum. I had, everything was really fast. In the beginning, I had I didn't have any pure into mana, uh, you know I barely had like any cards that will like keep me strong later on because I just needed to finish things off really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not. I guess to answer your question, I think right now, Venice from side is pretty good, and I'm trying to think through my list right now. It's, it's like my. Uh, I think that's it, man. <laughs> I, I do want to try the Serum of Wisdom, and I thought about it, but it, it just I feel like it's. It takes away so many cards from me, like from, right. from my hand, and it, it gives me kind of a lot of vulnerability towards water. True. Yep. You know? Yeah, and like you mentioned, there is a lot of water now, especially with Water Diana, Water Tenoris, and uh, mm. uh, Frostbind is a card that I'm always scared of. But like when you're playing yeah. the small things, like you mentioned, like uh, increasing danger, you can just pay for it, and they'll, mm -hmm. and, and they'll never counter your increasing danger. And that's why yeah, I, I, I still like a, a serum because they just say like, oh, what is this? Uh, it doesn't do anything. Okay, fine, right? So they just ignore it. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think the most important card for Rai right now that I think is a four off in any deck is Banish from Sight, like you mentioned. Banish from Sight mm -hmm. is just so good against all the Tonoris, all the Lorraines, all the Dianas even. Yeah, sure, maybe Diana can bring out the uh, Secret Rifle for the True Sight, but you only mm -hmm. get one curse, mm -hmm. right? In Getting to damage, getting one curse, it's it's fine, right? I mean, you can deal with that because they don't get the double trigger from the from the uh, Umbra weapon. So because they mm -hmm. either choose to not attack or attack you with Secret Rifle and only give you one curse, if anything. So the fact yeah. that now you have four Peaceful Reunion, four Banish from Sight, four Resolute Stand, <laughs> it's a lot of like damage mitigation. Uh, sometimes it works. Yeah, it is. Sometimes it doesn't, but it makes a lot of uh, matchups like uh, very, very easy. Like for example, uh, mm -hmm. Wind Allies or Tenoris, Wind Tenoris, they just banish and banish and banish, right? And they have no answer. They have no true yeah. sight, so that makes the matchup way, way easier. But um, um, yes, but I agree. Uh, the only thing that I that I think that is a bit complicated for Rai is still Xander, right? Xander is super, super fast. So I, mm -hmm. I'm trying to see like if there's anything else I can do in my deck just to make it survive because it just makes it really really hard to stay alive to level three because they I mean banish doesn't work against them because they have all the blazing throw explosives and they just go mm -hmm. over all the fogs that you have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I've thought about that. Um, I'm happy that uh, one of the people at RWT plays Xander, Fire Xander Agro. So it's like good practice against against that deck. Um, yeah, and I did pretty good against it uh, last local. So I'm I'm getting more confident uh, with different decks. Um, not to you know put his deck down or anything because he's a very strong player. And mm -hmm. I've, I think this is like the first or second time I I ever beat him with Xander. I think he normally <laughs> just defeats me with with his Xander deck because it's just oh, yeah. so strong, you know, so fast. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm happy that there's a good variety of decks in, in RWT. And um, I, I know that the scene is, is still growing in RWT, and there's a lot of different players that play, like uh, Merlin, still like Fire Merlin, I know a few players that have uh, still like Wind Allies, and uh, Tonoris yeah. as well. Uh, but one of the decks that, yep. I mean, that took the, the, the whole um, ascent was Erupting, and the other one was Luxem Sander, right? And from that point mm -hmm. of view, like, I think that in, in the long run, Rai does have a favorable matchup against Lux and Sander. You know, I mean, that's one deck that I will yeah. be happy if it takes over because they don't deal like a fast burst of damage. They slowly take the pace of the game yeah. and then they go and deal damage here and there. But if you're just Fire Raj, you just go Triple Arcane or Fireball and that's it, right? I mean, the more turns you get against yeah. Lux and Sander, the better for a Rai player. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Um, yeah, they're pretty good against uh, Luxembourg and the Ascent. 
So uh, I, I agree with what you're saying. So what were your losses? If I'm not mistaken, uh, it was uh, Water Diana, like one of those? And Yeah. Um, Water Diana, the Fire Xander Aggro. Yeah. <laughs> and then for the third matchup, I played against a um, Fire Merlin, but mm. I was late to the match, uh, and yeah, yeah. Uh, they didn't let us side because technically we didn't play. But I lost uh, the first match, uh, and uh, <laughs> with with Merlin, like there are certain cards that I need to side in, since uh, you know they don't do a lot of heavy attack. So I'm like certain cards are dead in my hand, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I wasn't able to side, so he got the he got the second game as well. Uh, yeah, yes, but I, I won the last one, but I, I mean, <laughs> at that point, losing the first two, it didn't really matter for the third one or fourth one, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and and like you mentioned, uh, Fire Merlin, I think it's a 50 50, depending, I guess, who sees uh, dungeon, uh, like a uh, dungeon guy first, because then mm -hmm. they can start leveling up faster than you, they can play the deer and all that, but without the crystal, I think now. I mean, I've always felt that Rice favor, fa favorite in that match, but now you're going to be even better without the Crystal. I agree. Yeah, Yeah. no, I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. I I definitely have a good matchup against Merlin. Um, not that I, you know, never lose be, uh, against it. I, I yeah. have. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my friend Brahim plays Fire <laughs> Merlin. He's, he's really good with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I get but... practice there, and, and I think he's definitely one of the stronger ones. Uh, too bad he didn't get to play in the ascent. He was judging. Yeah, he was judging. I mean, shout out to Ibrahim. I mean, I, I, I think he used to play even like well, with Merlin before, and he was amazing with it. And now he switched to Fire Merlin, so he has a mm -hmm. lot of like um, uh, experience with Merlin on its own. But yeah, yeah like, like like you said, the matchup against Merlin gets way easier when you can side in your Blanche, your Disintegrate, right? Because now yeah. game two they had their own Blanche, right? <laughs> so if mm -hmm. game two you don't have access to those tools and they do, yeah, it can get pretty pretty mm -hmm. rough. So, I mean, yeah, it's tough <laughs> when you see like uh, two peaceful reunions, uh, a, a couple resolutes, and a vanish from some. Like <laughs> these cards are dead against Merlin. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. But I, I mean, mm -hmm. but but it's also like a. I mean, no offense that it, it happened, you know, and uh, stuff happens. You may lose uh, around here and there for different reasons, but. Technically, you only lost like two games, right? So people are putting Rai as sometimes unviable and they don't even test it, but I don't think Rai's in a bad situation. I mean, it's only going to get better for him because yeah. if Agro is taking over now, there's going to be decks that are going to be more defensive that will be trying to counter mm -hmm. Agro and that's when Rai is going to come back mm -hmm. again because the game is going to slow down yeah. and Rai is going to eat all these like mid-range, late, late game decks. But uh, mm -hmm. your list, if I'm not mistaken, it has... It, it runs the Arkimbless package. We also running the four and four in overwhelming, power overwhelming, and um, uh, the uh, uh, Adenu Storm color, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. it, are you still planning on on, on, on running both uh, answers? Because you're still running only three fireballs, right? Like, I, I don't know if your yeah. list has changed, but you're relying more on the Arcane package than the fireball package. Yeah, I, I am. I mean. Fireball's cool and everything, but it does cost two, and I feel like that's kind of a lot for Rai. Um, but Advin is so good, man, and I think um, <laughs> I remember I lost against you for that store championship, yeah. and you used that Advin, and I'm like, wait, what? You opened my mind to it. I'm like, dude, I've been thinking about how to like really master it. So ever since then, I've just been like really heavy on it, and dude, I make I do fireballs for like twenty plus you know mm -hmm. i'm like i only need three why do i need four to do like small damage with the fireballs i could just do a 20 damage fireball you know true and, and, and i think like fireball i'm using it now more for killing a unit than dealing direct damage because there's so many aggro that fireball mm. is still you know three at least when you're level two and so it's not really a win control yeah. anymore and since you started playing mm -hmm. right with four uh power of women and four arcane i mean four advent of storm color I only have three and three, but like, oh man, I need to buy an extra copy for each. <laughs> Just out of my deck because I think <laughs> that's the perfect balance. So I'm gonna steal that page from your book, and I'm I'm gonna be running four and four for the next event as well. But uh, we'll yeah. see we'll see how the Jedi tournament goes. I am still betting on Rai, and I'm gonna stick with it. I think it's a good deck. I just need to find yeah, um, more testing against the fire decks because. Uh, I mean, according from the stats that I've seen on, on Luxera's map, according to what happened at Ascent mm -hmm. Ontario, Fire is still the most played uh, uh, element, and the Wind is kind of dropping down. So, 
I just want to be ready for whatever I'm going to be facing because it's still going to be a lot of fire decks. I need to be ready to face the aggro. But um, how, how yeah. do you think that, I mean, do, do you think the Boogeyman is a steel Xander? Uh, or, or do you think Erupting? Because Erupting is a great deck. And we know that it's a great deck. But it's a deck that mostly yeah. like catches you off guard, right? And now with all the crystal, yeah. I think not many people are going to be playing it, only except like amazing uh, player like Matt, that he's been playing it since day one and he never stopped. That's why he knows it so well. Yeah. But I don't know if Xander yeah. is going to be still on the top, or people are now ready for Xander. Because that was the other surprise of the tournament. Yeah, Erupting is definitely scary. Um... I guess I gotta play with my brother more because he, he plays that and I don't play with him off, often. Uh, we have like two like weird schedules. Um, but I, I, I just need to, you know, practice more with those two decks because you can, even though there is a weakness against, you know, uh, Rai, you could really uh, change the odds, you know, the more you play and the more tech you kind of use and the order and how you play certain cards. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you don't want to do Vanish from Sight early on. Maybe you want to do Resolute instead. You know, so it's, it kind of it all depends on that. You know, like what the opponent would have uh, as an answer to your things as well. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm really excited to see what's gonna show uh, show up at the Git Originals this weekend because that might influence a lot Same. what people are gonna be playing mm -hmm. at Nat. But you're definitely going to Nat, right? You're not missing it. I'm really trying to go. I'm like 90% <laughs> sure. I, uh, my heart is 100% there. I just got to make all the yeah. arrangements and I don't want to go alone. So I'm trying to bring people with me. Sure, sure. No, I mean, there's a lot of great players that I know that uh, maybe because also Worlds is happening so soon after Nationals, people are saying, no, nah, I'm going to skip Naps and go to Worlds. I'm going to skip Ontario to go to Worlds. So I know a lot of good players that are going to miss it because, you know, money, time, and other like yeah. uh, previous, uh, you know, commitments to work and uh, and vacation and PTO yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. But it will be yeah. great to see if you can make it. I mean, I'm definitely going to be yeah. asking for tips this weekend for the Yeti 100%. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll talk after the <laughs> the um, the video here. I don't want to share all, you know, the oh, tech. Of course, of course. But it was great to see, like, uh, your opinion, how you feel about... about Right, because you're still one of the few that are loyal to the class and the and the champion, and I mean, still get, getting so high uh, at, at Saint Ontario. It's a uh, it, it's something to be proud of. What, what were you like a twenty second something like that? Like I ended up being twenty five. Oh, twenty five. Okay, hey man, still you made the day two, top thirty two. That's something that not many yeah. people can say about it. <laughs> but still, that is uh, true. Eddie, thank you so much for uh, giving us some time here in the channel and. I hope to see you soon. Oh, I'll see you soon. That's 100% sure, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, for sure. No, it's, it's always a pleasure. I, I'm, I'm happy you bring me on. You know, I'm happy we could talk about Rai, since we're both really like heavy Rai players, you know? Yeah, we're in more Rai um, content, for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. For thank, sure. Thank you so much for the time, man. Take care and see you next time. Peace. Hi, right, brother. Have a good night.